Right, can you hear me? <clears throat> As you can tell, I'm back in the office, so uh, obviously nothing works. I need to be setting up again. Is the game audio coming through? Okay. <sighs> you can hear me? Good. Excellent. Irish Spud says yes. Uh, in, uh, Mog Mogwiggy says I can hear you but won't admit it. Excellent. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, everybody. Um, very helpful. Uh, <laughs> right, so tonight is just a little bit of a chill. Chill and let's play. Um, and um, the, in, in the words of Nat, she said, uh, no streaming until stupid o'clock. So, when's stupid o'clock, folks? What, four? Five? I don't know. She didn't say. She just said stupid o'clock. So, uh, <coughs> I'll figure it out. You know, we'll work out when she starts shouting at me on, on Teams. <laughs> She'll probably jump on in the... Uh, Jump in the chat later on. Uh, I've had a very good today, uh, day today. Thank you very much, Class 3 on 4 fan. Uh, right, what are we doing today? So, today's plan uh, is a bit of a mix and match. Um, and uh, so I'm going to do the BR155 on the uh, Chemnitz route, because I thought that'd be a bit different. Then I'm going to do Cathcart Circle both ways. Uh, and then I'm going to do the uh, C40-8W uh, on a downhill run scenario. So... Uh, <coughs> we'll uh, we'll see how that goes. Shouldn't be too long of a stream. Should be sort of sensible ish. And then we'll see we'll see how we're feeling uh, and and so on. I'm trying to go to bed earlier, to be perfectly honest, because now I'm in the office. I kind of need to be in here at a sensible time. So, um, but anyway, right. Explore timetable. This is where I find out I haven't. I have planned this well uh, well enough. It's good enough. We're we're, we're on the way. July. Some cloud. Some wind. Bring the trees to life. Um, right, so, I've got a 42 minutes one here, going up the hill, that's boring, I want to go down the hill. Uh, so we call Berlin, Chemnitz to Dresden, that'll well, be down the, down the ramp. Let's do that! I didn't check what time of day that was. If it's dark, let's not do that. What's everyone been playing lately? Not dark. We have a win, folks. We have a win. Right. How do we make this one go? Uh, we put. Oh, hello. Lightning. The lightning switches are on. Uh, that one's on. Uh, headlights, sprites, and no, no, no. Cooling fans. Yes. Train heating. Headlight. Headlight. Headlights. We want to put it in forwards, not reverse. The other forwards. That one on, that one on, that one on. Did I forget anything? That one, one, two, three, four light switches. I'm going to turn the traction force selector down for our departure. But before we worry about our departure, let's go and get Nagging Nanny turned on. Uh, far. And there's another one over here. He's a oh, hello, let's just check the mode. M. I'm going to go with you, actually. I don't know how heavy this train is, and I know I'm going down a steep hill. So we'll keep it sensible. Right. Key on. Well, no. No, thank you. Break off. Break off. No, that's on. What are you doing? Into forward. Brakes are released. Got a green light even. Take a minute for the brakes to release, probably. Why's the train got a steering wheel? Because it's superior. All the best trains have a steering wheel. Wow, that's drowning me out, isn't it? Just waiting for the uh, wagons to, uh, um, to do their thing. Let me just turn that down a bit, because that's quite loud. Got to wait now for all the brakes to finish releasing. What are we carrying anyway? Ah, it's a nice short train of car transporters delivering the much needed Crayola uh, um, blank cars. At some point, we'll see it. Can't really 
really see those gauges thanks to the light. It's fine. I like you being drowned. Thanks, Bake Bean Kids. What we got? Let's train spot. 612? Probably a 612. Shot we're shooting fish in a barrel at this point, aren't we? <sighs> Is there a particular route you are looking forward to playing this year once they are completed? Oh, nice try, Class 314 fan. Um, yes, all of them. <coughs> right. Can you hear me better now? Is uh, How's the volume mix? I'm not, I'm not asking you about being kid. I'm not asking you. Just saying. Can I put on the F3? Oh, frame rate counter. Yeah, sure. Loco is quiet now. Well, I've turned the loco down. Is it that I'm really not? No, I'm peaking. The volume. Yeah, okay. Peppy Emu fan says it's all fine, so I'm believing him. Them. There I go, making egregious assumptions. Here we go. Needed to get the traction force selector turned up a little bit. Well, you, um, so Skoronium Hunter says, I keep reading the signal on the left hand and thinking Matt's gonna spad. Not gonna lie, flicking between the UK and German routes all of the time, just confused just basically confused. There's a green light somewhere in front of me. I cross my fingers. Right, let's release from monitoring. <coughs> 100 kilometers an hour speed limit now. Or at least according to piece of B anyway. Not yet on the track. What GPU am I using? This is a 3070, I think? Something like that. We're rolling. Am I in the office alone? I'm in the office. All alone, look at this. Crazy. They leave me here all on my own. <sighs> I wouldn't leave me here all on my own, I tell you. Who knows what mischief I get up to. What was your question, Shashank? Anyway, else have issues with 155 and Pisa B not acknowledging dialect sex. I'm going to let you into a trick. And this is this is a limitation uh, and something we need to improve on, but you can just work around it for the time being. What you'll find is Pisa B acknowledges this one. I'm going to acknowledge it now with the keyboard. Watch how fast it moves. Right? So I, if I just press it, you'll see how it barely moves? It's not doing anything. Press and hold it until you see it move all the way across and uh, you'll find you acknowledge his work. So when you're doing an acknowledge, um, press and hold it for a beat or two uh, rather than just tapping it because while some locos respond instantly, some of them don't. And that is something I need to uh, keep on at the team to uh, make sure they uh, um, they do right. Have you lost weight? Not at all, Blue Games, I'm afraid probably the opposite but thank you all right let's get some more uh, power turned on one of the reasons I've come back to the office is um, because um, the um, I, I get to, I have to walk around a lot more um, whereas um, when I'm at home you know, it's not very far from my bed to my desk. The fridge and the coffee machine are right next to the, my, my desk. So, um... <laughs> it's very unhealthy, frankly. 
Oh, Dalek Sex, so you're on controller. It should always work then just with a tap. I'll, I'll check that. I haven't got my PC controller with me, so I can't plug it in and have a look. But I will. Uh, I'll try and have a look at that and see if there's um, see if it's not working correctly like uh, on the uh, on the controller. I, I didn't buy. It. I'm using my work PC, Pe Pe Pegasus Leo. So um, it's um, uh, I'm very much. Uh, uh, at the uh, the benefit of the uh, the IT department, who work very hard. Yeah, that was the problem this morning, Silator. Um, you know, I, dri I drive to the office because you know it's a, I mean it's a forty five minute walk, but um, who wants that really? You know, I might get healthy. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Take it easy. Um, but um, you know, via McDonald's. So not necessarily the best effort. I've got a running machine behind me in the office in 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 the garage at home um, that's currently filled with Amazon boxes, so that's not really working properly. Hey there, Paul Reid, how's it going? Will the class 700 have the potential to join Train Sim World 2? Anything has the potential to join Train Sim World 2. I am not going to accidentally announce something and get myself into loads of trouble. And um, so, the fact that it's in TS1 is a help, but nothing to share on that one. I'd love to see it personally. It looks cool. Taze, I'm very good, thank you. How are you? Liam Eds, I am very good. Where are we going past? Ah, station with the blue sign. Excellent. See, you know, this is just... This is... That's cool. I like those big old, big old signal boxes over the top. I think that's awesome. Can't you use the running machine to power the track at OMR? Would be nice to see you doing something useful for a change. Ooh. Ooh. Was the 465 and TSW2 ported over to TS2022? Uh, 20, no, it was built from scratch. Well, I mean, it would look similar, wouldn't it? It's the same class of locomotive, but it, no, it was rebuilt from scratch. I think the 155 is one of the few that's come over largely unscathed from TS1, but then this was built to a high standard in the first place. Um. The Talent 2's nose section came over from TS1. I can't remember what else has come across. Not an awful lot. I certainly will, Londo Spark. Thank you very much for that. They're still working to get us small licenses to go uh, uh, with Creators Club, though. I uh, keep doing PZB as usual with Tilt Enabled. Yes, PZB still applies with Tilt Enabled, yes. Alright, I'm going to cut the power now, given we're going down a hill. Now that power is off, a little bit of brakes. Just balance the speed out around that sort of level, that's good. We're firmly in control. Haven't the steam locos come over with modification? Yes, that's true. Do Jubilee and the ATIF come over from uh, TS1 models? Yeah. Although, again, Ben built them to a very high standard in the first place, so... CTSL rail fan uh, nearer the time we'll confirm the the ones that are uh, that are okay. That's a drop to a hundred, and we are still at eighty-four. So I'm going to ease the brakes back a bit because the uh, the gradient there um, leveled out slightly. Back on a one percent now. Okay. 
Can I turn off the cab light? Have I got the cab light on? I do. What a dingbat. What a dingbat! By and large, most of the trains are model uh, from scratch seated cell rail fan. But if there is a model already in existence at the right sort of level, or components of it at the right sort of level, it's pointless to rebuild it for the sake of rebuilding it. Right, I'm going to ease the brake, the brake off now. Start put the taps back on again. Forty two kilometres to go. Going past another station with blue boards on it. Oh bullet leader, see now that'd be a train. It's basically a reskin of a sixty six, yeah? Have DTG got sounds for the ATF? Uh, if you go back to the um, the stream um, uh, that we where we announced it, we uh, we said that we were going out uh, the following Monday, which is gone now, um, to do exactly that to get recording of the uh, the AF. So at this point, we have amazing recordings of the AF. The team only sent me a numerous pictures during the day making me jealous because they were there and I wasn't it's fine you know if you're experiencing an FPS drop does that mean you need to upgrade to GPU it depends on all sorts of things um, I can't remember what, where a GTX 760 fits in the grand scheme of things to be honest Really excited for Spirit of Steam, especially seeing Lime Street cuttings going around Liverpool. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's that's kind of that's going to be it for me. Essentially, is I'm, I'm not really. It's going to be great to get crew in the game, but for me, it's Weaver Junction and Round Run Corn over Run Corn Viaduct, um, and um, hello, speed, um, and uh, and then on into Liverpool. I think it's going to look spectacular. Yeah, Conrail's a bit of a problem license-wise. Um, uh, what was your name? Uh, heavy lift. Um, because of uh, getting the license for it is uh, not been any any joy so far with it. Don't know why we're down at sixty miles now, sixty kilometres now. I'm clearly not paying attention. Seven Valley Railway. Um, there's not really any plans to do the more preserve railways. If it's something you want to see, then make some noise and get other people making some noise with you on the forums. I quite left the tap on while I was. Uh, that's it. Left the tapper on while I was. Uh, Putting the brakes on, naughty boy, slap wrist. Who owns the Conrail license? Conrail. Conrail still exists, class 3. I, uh, in Pierce, uh, I'm right with you. Some slam door southern um, would be uh, right up my street. I'd uh, love to see some slam door southern.
Let's get the speed back up. We're going too slow. Be here all day. More speed. What could go wrong? I thought you wanted a 319, Moggy. You keep telling me you want a 319. Make your mind up. <laughs> Anyone know it's called a tap changer? Um, it's t because of how it works behind the bulkhead. Um, it's difficult to explain. Probably, uh, yeah, I, I, I know roughly how it works, how it works, but I can't figure out how to explain it. <laughs> I don't know it enough to be able to explain it. <coughs> Pacers, yes, of course. Right, going up a 1.8 percent. So I'm going to uh, just bring up the traction to force control back up to the 100 percent, and we'll see the notch going up. And we're back to accelerating again. Good, good. Is driving with power and brakes on always a no-go? Um, they generally wouldn't do that because it would wear the brakes out, Dr. Bart. Um, so you'd want to be... Um, um, yeah, you want to be using throttle if you're trying to accelerate, brakes if you're trying to slow down. And if you're having trouble controlling the brakes, it might be using the wrong brakes. Remember, there's you know, like an American train, there are three different brakes. I don't know the answer to your question, uh, Pegasus Leos, whether or not a new graphics card will help. Um, it depends where the problem is. Oh, uh, apparently it came out in 2013, the GTX 760. Oh yeah, that's probably not great then. But it, it matters what your CPU is as well, because if your CPU came out in 2013, then you're not going to be a whole lot better off with a better GPU, because it, it'll be bored, because the CPU can't keep up with it. Shall we look outside? I'm going to drop the power back to notch 10, and let the train slow down, and that's it, we're slowing down. Because we've got the 80 limit coming back up. You've got an 11... Seven, uh, an Intel 11700. With a GTX 730. Have I misread that? Am I going to sell all those IDs at the Saudis at the side of the track? Indeed, Liam. Indeed. I'll text you the address later on if you want one. I'm going cheap. Going cheap. Hey, this game music. How are you doing? You have an i7 11700K with a GTX 730. Yeah. Desperately need an upgrade. That's massively out of balance. Right, it's coming up on 90 miles an hour, but we're only doing 65. But then we're going up a 2% a two gradient near enough. Do all German trains have power wheels? No, older ones do mostly. More modern trains generally we use a, um, a standard um, thyristor control. Uh, normal lever thingy. Lever thingy, it's the technical name for it, don't argue. Uh, are there any double header consists on this route? I don't think so, no. Looks 
Looks like we need a bit more uh, on the old force meter here. Let's go up to 120. There we go. Now we're accelerating. Will we ever see a train with ETCS in TSW2? Probably. Again, no, uh, no, no plans or projects are announcing anything like that. But I can't see why we wouldn't. Can we sneak lever thingy into a VO? <laughs> yeah, one of the VOs will have to record an alternate version, I guess. Sit your backside down in that there seat. Right now, use the lever thingy. Push that. That's it. You're going forwards now. Right now, release the brake. What's it? Not that brake. What's it? This one. Oh, good. There you go. Right now, the throttly thing. That's the one. Turn that. Yes, turn it. No, I'm not going to teach you why this is a steering wheel. You know, something you know, can see how a tutorial could go from that. ETCS is European Train Control System. It's kind of a modern safety system. <coughs> it comes in multiple layer le uh, levels. You know, think equivalents of PZB and LZB, I think, broadly. Broadly. What are we doing? We are speeding up very, very so gently. Stick another taps on, a couple of taps on. Uh, Zeji, so th there's no reward for levels other than the levels themselves. One thing we've been told by the community repeatedly is uh, don't unlock trains. Don't unlock anything, basically. It makes them very grumpy because they want to choose what they want to play and not be told they have to do other things to make it work. So, Bragging rights. Yeah, bigger numbers. Where are we? We're getting there. Will there be longer routes in the future for DSW? I'm sure. Uh, I mean, we're, in, we're constantly trying to push the bounds on that one. Uh, Sherman Hill was, I think, our longest one to date. Uh, in terms of end-to-end, -end, Clinchfield, I think, is the longest overall mileage. Um, so... Uh, and then I remember rightly, Marseille was pretty close third. Hey there, Yana Dunk. Long time no see. Speak, how are you doing? Should the levels go if they do nothing? I see lots of people comparing their levels. So what harm is it doing? We're going up, we're supposed to be going down. You say you go up first, then you go down. Yeah? We've got to go up to get to the top, and then we can use the ramp to get back down again. Yeah, rapid transit was a pretty long route as well. It's like 60 miles or something, isn't it? Yeah, the game, it only loads sort of a, a group of tiles around you and as you travel along it loads new ones at the front and gets rid of the ones at the back. So there's only ever the same amount of memory being used for the tiles around you. Hitches, uh, if anything, are often caused by the unloading at the back. Because loading new data you can do as much as you like, it doesn't cause any problem. There's hard drive access, but even most hard drives that's not so much of a problem these days. But unloading data, kind of like the game has to make sure nobody wants it anymore. Does anybody want it? No? Right, I'm getting rid of it. Last chance. So, if, you, if you're interested in the thing, it's called Garbage Collection. And um, Unreal's got, certainly used to have a relatively primitive gar 
garbage collection system, which kind of meant it had to stop the game, check everything, and if it was nothing, kill it. It could remove it. And you know, in a lot of cases, you wouldn't notice the fact that it stopped the game. But if it had to clear out 3,000 objects, then you'd get a minor glitch in the game when it did that. Oh, hello. What am I doing doing 108 miles an hour? That's a problem. I'm blaming chat. Oh, it's going to slot. It's going to let release the brakes. Ooh, sweet. I didn't realise it would do that. I thought it would hold me, bring me to a stop. Right, okay. Can we pay attention? I thought we were going uphill, so... I was more concerned that... Uh, I've got to wait for all the wagons to release their brakes now. Just testing PZB. Absolutely, Sonic Scott. Just testing PZB. Looks like the wagons are coming off shortly, slowly but surely. There's quite a lot to save Silator, which is slightly more insulting given that it probably won't work when you load it back again. But yeah, it is saving quite a lot of data. Right, more power! What's the biggest department within DTG? Be the environment art team. Because they're now three teams on the environment art team. Each with five or so people in them. Gameplay, I think, is seven. Um, the loco setup team is. Five or six, something like that. Of course, I'm not including the publishing, marketing, and so forth. I'm not entirely sure how big those teams are. So one of those might actually work, work out bigger. Who's the prankster of the team? I don't know. It's a good shout. I'll have to find out. No one really has uh, made a name for themselves as the prankster. Tried more issues getting an 11,000 ton train moving from start on Sherman. That's just patience, Chief Longshin. Release the brakes. And wait. And wait. And wait. And wait. 15 minutes later, go. Uh, Sonic Scott, on PC when you get a game over, there's a resume from last checkpoint option unless you pick back up from the previous station. This option isn't on console, wonder on why that is, because checkpointing is disabled on console, because basically what it was causing was this annoying constant hitch every time it saved the checkpoint. Um, and um so yeah one of one of the one of the jobs really is to find a better way of um um of of making save work you know, other than making it work that when you reload it it's fine but also making it so that it's done asynchronously to the game copy all the data quickly and then get the game going again and then do the save out formatting saving all the rest of it can happen separately so that the um the the game doesn't hitch and then it can come back was in the early prototypes it was uh, it was in the console but uh, like i said the hitching was terrible it's a 
notch back up that speed. What inspired me to play TSW? I designed it. Well, amongst other people. Obviously. Um... But I've been I've been at Dovetail now for more than for just shy of ten years, a couple of months shy of ten years now, and um, so yeah, I was part of the team that created TSW, which is, was really cool actually. Do you play every other train games, and does it make you feel dirty? I play all train sims. I just picked up Run Eight today. Um, and, um, no. I enjoy train sims. I make no bones about it. I've been playing a lot of Railroads Online lately, in fact. That's quite fun. Liam, are DLCs automatically synced between Xbox and Microsoft Store? What do you mean by automatically synced? Do you mean if you own it on Xbox, can you download it for your PC via the Xbox Store, via the Microsoft Store? I don't think that's the case. I know that question got asked in a meeting today, and so someone is going to find out, uh, but I don't know the answer to that. Matt, which company makes the best train simulators? I'm going to take the fifth on that one, Strike Eagle. Uh, I think you know which one I'm going to go for, but... <coughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, how close to complete is TSW to your vision? Five? Four? I mean, my vision was enormous. There was a lot in there. Take another 15 years to do that lot. But it also does other things that weren't in the original vision as well, so it's kind of... it's a bit weird. Suffice to say, I absolutely love TSW. And would be playing it even if I wasn't working here. Just ticks the box for me perfectly. Uh, excluding current third parties, is there any third party you'd like to team up with in the future? Oh, put me on the spot now. All of them, obviously. Um, I mean, I kind of want to work with um, Union Workshop again. Um, and get the um, uh, get their Chinese stuff and Japanese stuff. Um, you know, these they're really really cool at doing that stuff um, uh, into the uh, into TSW. That'd be really interesting. ATF cab doesn't look a whole lot different to a Jubilee cab trains 1803. I mean, at some point we'll show some screenshots of it, but it doesn't look a whole lot different. What wasn't in the original vision? Well, for example, the inbuilt scenario planner and livery designer weren't in the original vision. We sort of toyed with the idea and talked about things like a Forza style skinning tool but it kind of never made it into a plan of any sort um, and it was very loosely discussed and then you know, suddenly and very quickly it, um, it became a real thing which I'm super happy about, it's really cool It's just in Chemnitz now one of your favourite routes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I like all the German routes, you know me. Uh. 
curious to see what Just Trains comes up with. Me too. Me too. Great team. Looking forward to seeing what they do with it. You wonder why Reese, <coughs> Reese Dresden didn't give Colnarkin and Hofstra and Ryan Roy layered services. It's the other way round. Um, those two routes give Reese Dresden services. In fairness, Matt likes any route where he gets to drive a train or see a train or drive a milk float. Yeah, pretty much, actually, Londo Spark. Yeah, you know me too well. What's going on here? Going down a hill gently. Let's fly over here and have some external because we've been stuck in that cabin. It's getting all stuffy. Tree simulator. Whoops. Let go, Sifa. Let go. Hello. You spotted your car on my train. Nice musical melody. Which one is it? Is it the second one or the third one down? Long enough that you saw the OG Kinebworth. <laughs> Which one's your car, anyway? It's the white one. Oh, excellent. <laughs> right, we need to speed up. We only need to slow down to 55. How do engineers uh, figure out when they get 1,000 hertz? Um, so nothing happens in the cab. As a driver on German railways, you should know when you are when you're going over a hot magnet because it, it uh, it's obvious based on the signals. So when you go over a speed reduction, like the previously I went over a seven, a, a warning of a speed, a speed reduction to 70 kilometers an hour, which needs acknowledging. Um, then uh, then you need to acknowledge. And when you acknowledge, 1000 Hz lights up to confirm, yeah, you did that right. Well done. If you do it when you don't need to, it doesn't matter. If you don't do it when you do need to, it does matter. You prefer the white car justification. Alright, well, I'll, I'll save one aside for you. Uh, there's no date been announced yet, Royal Viewer, for the Horseshoe Curve. Hopefully it won't be long. Can we get another tube line? What tube line would you like to see? There's nothing planned or in development, but... Personally, I want to see the Piccadilly line, because uh, that was the other one we researched when we, when we eventually chose the Piccadilly, uh, the Bakerloo line. Um, so, and I quite like the look of it, because you've got the branch lines, and you've got the Heathrow Airport and you've got some overground and some underground and rattly old trains or well, at least the way I was going to do it would be rattly old trains anyway Moggy wants the ice cream line, he would But no, no plans at the moment for working on uh, underground uh, lines.
15 kilometers. Who let bait being kidding? Central line dialect, so basically you wouldn't need to do sound, just make horrific noise the entire time. That is the worst. I used to commute on the central line. So loud. It even broke through my... I had noise cancelling headphones. And even they weren't good enough. I mean, they were better, but they weren't good enough. Why does it say PZB90 on my Spanish? Because uh, the system this, this train is, is set up with is called PZB90. speed and everything. We're accelerating at the moment, so... And hot, yes. The central line is a pleasure and a joy. <laughs> Still going up. We're looking for Klingenberg. That's where the roller coaster starts. Yeah, well, if I remember rightly, Inducy 60 was the first system. I think PCB 90 is the second. PCB 3 is what... It, V3, I think, is what's on most trains. And then V4 is what's on the um, 612. I presume it's on other trains as well. But I think I might be completely making that up. But Hey, welcome, Levi. How's it going? When's rush hour passengers coming to London commuter? When we've stabilised the route. Still a few things waiting for uh, um, testing on that to uh, prove that it's okay. <coughs> when it's not going to make the situation worse, then we can put the extra passengers on it. Uh, Zervel, as much as it pains me, because I'm a huge fan of VR, no, there's no uh, VR coming to the game anytime soon. Peppy and you fan, do you mean the silver on the expansion pack? It's still Mark II, same as the stuff in the um, base pack. It's a Mark II painted as the original stock, uh, but not interior. So it's as if you, it's, the idea is that as if the modern day 1972 stock has just been repainted the, on the exterior for the purposes of the, of the event. Still climbing. Is the, this is one of the trains compatible with your racing steering wheel? <laughs> no, I never got around to doing that, unfortunately. Has anyone here seen the guitar? Guitar Hero Trains. That was fun. More power. Uh, would you recommend Track IR for TSW? Um, I definitely recommend head tracking. Um, Track IR is a very good system. Head tracking is, is, is good. There are other options to the sides Track IR as well, of course. Um, that should all work fine. I, I've got Smooth Phone on my on my mobile, which is quite cool. Um, but, um, sorry, smooth, smooth track. Um, but, no, there's all sorts of systems out there. I use track IR at home, um, and I like it. it. It just feels more, you know, realistic. You feel a bit more immersed. Um, I don't use it on the stream, because um, you're not feeling my head movements, therefore all you can see is just the screen blazing around all over the place, which is uh, dizzying, frankly. Um, but I quite often use it for myself. 
blind driving, Lear and Spadded. Yeah, I forgot that there was a green light, suddenly red light, <laughs> at the end of the firm Jamaica. <laughs> Speeding back up a bit, we're going too slow. Display names of station on the HUD as you approach. Yeah, one of the things I wanted to do is to put something in the bottom left corner when you're in the vicinity of a uh, of a, a town or a place, um, and then sort of it fades out when you're not there. Obviously optional. Um, we've talked about that a, a couple of times. Can we get a class 455 for under commuter? Uh, love to see it. No plans. That signal to make is fixed now. Excellent. That'd be an awful lot of Squid Game dolls, though, trains. If every light was replaced with a... Uh, a... Uh, a red, red light, green light doll. Eight point eight kilometers. How does licensing work with companies that don't exist anymore? Uh, the brand always exists. Uh, it, you've just got to find out who owns the brand now. It's very rare for companies to die, in actual fact. They normally get swallowed up or they remain part of their parent company or something. Um, sometimes it gets weird um, uh, and difficult to find, but eventually you find them. So, um, Pennsylvania Railroad, PRR. Um, they became Penn Central. Penn Central. Oh, there we go. I think we've reached Klingenberg and we're hitting the ramp. Here it goes, 2.4%. Uh, so Penn Central created um, in in the sort of like a bit of a a boom that they were experiencing. They created an underwriting company called American Premier Underwriters, and. Um, now I've just got to watch it. Um, when the rail crash happened, not crash in rail, rail train crash, but when the uh, all of the um, eastern rails uh, railroads went to pot uh, and it all died, um, the um, Conrail took over all of the uh, assets. Consolidated railway railroads took over the government thing, um, all of the locomotives and assets, and Penn Central basically got wrapped up into its child company, American Premier Underwriters. So now if you want the brand for Penn Central, Pennsylvania Railroad, or New York, New Harvard, and Railroad, uh, Hartford Railroad Company, you go to American Premier Underwriters, which still exists. So it, it can be, you know, all over the place trying to find the brands. Uh, GNER still exists. Um, although I don't think it's with who it was before. It used to be with um, sea containers. But I think it belongs. I think it's been palm, uh, pushed out to its own license now. But it's all. It's 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 a. The licensing team is not just a question of ah oh, find company go talk to them. Sometimes there's an awful lot of detective work trying to find out where this thing is now. Connex still exists in terms of a licensable brand. Um, so you've got to find out who owns Connex. That's a French company. Are you introducing declining, uh, incline decline part of HUD toggling separately? Oh, you mean this this thing here? Um, don't know. Interesting idea though. Do 
Do other passenger train companies exist in Germany? Yeah, Bellio. Um, there's a number of them. Uh, we've got some of the other licenses. Viola, that's it. Dalek Sec, that's our own Conix. It's Viola. Um... Can't have been the ramp. Although I, that was really oh no, this is the break in the middle, isn't it? <coughs> Hit the ramp again in a minute. Yeah, National Express. There are quite a lot of companies. Um, VVO that you see in Dresden Risa, that's a uh, separate company. They just run red trains, so it's difficult to tell they're a separate company, but they are. In fact, if you go and have a look at um, the Dresden Chemnitz line to as it stands today. Um, that's run by uh, a private owner, a fri private company as well. Let's get them brakes off. Speed it back up. A big part of a belly went bankrupt and doesn't run anymore since today. Ooh, hello. The headlights being stuck on bright on the Dostos. I wasn't aware of that. I'll get someone to have a look at that. No, I don't think VVO is a DB daughter company. Oh, I'm going to get a bang out. I'm not going to make it down to 55. It's barely slowing down. See, and here's the problem, folks. Any second now, the brakes are going to apply. That's just mean. Giving me a 55 hertz, a 55, a uh, thousand hertz activation on the steepest part of the incline. Just mean. Oh, hello. Now, nah, there you go. I knew it would have. I thought we'd managed to get it, but no. Hello, Mr. Tilty Drain. <sighs> no, once you if you exceed the um, fifty-five warning, then um, you know it's a full stop. Let's get the brakes off. I was slowing down so later, but I wasn't slowing down fast enough. I was on full service. Yeah, but you have to drop to 55 because of the 70. Which makes no sense, does it? But it's because of the 1000 hertz activation. You've got to get down to 55, wait for it to clear, then you can come back up to 70. Yay, peace at me. Yeah, Dr. Bart, and with root knowledge, you'd have known that 70 was coming up and you would have been bringing it down to the 55 in advance. Alright, there we go. We got power. No, the signals are alright. It was a speed restriction, so I release. Uh, young Pum is on. Uh, this is the BR155. Um, apparently driving on the uh, Taranda Ramp, Cam Dresden Chemnitz line. Bound for uh, Dresden, if we ever get there. Yeah, it doesn't help I'm not paying enough attention to what I'm doing, Liam. <laughs> no, you used to be able to, Greg, and it got lost when the new control system came in. So you can't at the moment. So plug a keyboard in and press control zero should work. Yeah, I'm in the office, Sibala uh, saw. <laughs> I 
what am I using today? I'm using keyboard and mouse because um, I'm on PC. Um, I don't really have a preference. Someone asked earlier about what controls. I don't really have a preference. I do enjoy using the controller. Um, but if I'm on PC, I'll quite happen to um, quite happy to uh, use the um, uh, the the keyboard mouse or plug my controller in and use my controller on the PC. Whatever. I don't really have a favourite, if I'm honest. What's happened to your pink ears? Nothing. They're right there. What has happened to them? Right, I think we're off the ramp now. What policy do you mean, Tripag? So we've got a yellow light coming up in three kilometres. I got the other. I've got the Razor Crack and Kitties at home. Um, Peppy Emu fan, which are the effectively the ones that got the ears built in. Whereas these just you can lift these off; they're just clipped on. Um, the the Razor Crack and Kitties have got them built in, and the RGB as well. Obviously, because you know if it's not RGB, then uh, yeah. Every time after I lost the first, after I lost an ear, Simply Sims, I'm just utterly paranoid now. Without hope. Four percent down, down bubble now. Where can you get a pair of headphones from, NG? Same place I got mine from, Amazon. Shush, Sifa. No one asked you. Side. Curious why DTG doesn't show off their fishing games on the DTG Twitch channel because this is the Trains channel, even though it's called Dovetail Games. They actually, I think, it's called DTG Fishing or Dovetail Fishing or something like that. Oh, we're already under 55. Stop panicking. So yeah, if you look up, look up the other uh, the other channel, I can't remember what it is, but there is a channel and they do fishing streams on there. I don't know how often they do them. I have to say, but. They do. Will we ever see anything Australian? There's no reason to not see anything Australian, but there's nothing on the plan. Have you ever participated in a stream of other, another DTG game that's not trains? I'm trying to remember if I was on any of the flight streams, I don't think so. 
I'd be quite happy to be on a fishing stream, but never asked me, so it's fine. Don't have to ask me. <laughs> yeah, I am driving too slow, Messiac, because um, we're uh, we're not too far from the end of the line now, anyway. Gone green. Plenty more fish in the sea. Yep, and I will be setting all of the ones free that are on the rails. Yeah, there you go, Dr. Bart. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hard only shows main signals correct, Cafe Boomer. It never shows distance repeaters or anything like that. We always have constructive meetings, Tripag. We come to the right answers. So I can go up to 60 now. They're rendered the route, it's not for another 11 kilometers. Are there any limitations to expanding service frequency for Bakerloo line? Tooling. There's no necessarily any limitation inside the game itself. The limitation is simply in the practical ability to set it up because it's all tightly compressed. Um, and the, um, the sort of it highlights the, uh, the weaknesses of the tools for doing something like that. Alright, let's speed up. It's taking too long now. How do you choose the winner of the screenshot contest? I don't, Zinf, um, and I don't know what they do. So, uh, that's a good one to ask on probably any stream with a JD or a Nat on it. Or possibly even a Jamie. You're waiting for me to give a fish pun? I wasn't going to broach that subject. <laughs> well, you asked. Setback procedure, elephant and castle. Which one's that, Dalek? Which, which, what do you mean? The bit where you go into a station, change ends, and leave again? Or do you mean using the siding, the, the tunnel at the back? How about max throttle? No, we're on PZBU, so I'm limited to 100 kilometers an hour anyway.
How to know exactly when to do PCB U or M? Uh, I mean, there is a technical, accurate way of doing it, but for me, it's. Um, am I going down a steep hill with a heavy train? Probably, I'm going to use U. Because um, basically, it's it's down to your ability to brake. Um, so sometimes you might set it into M and then just see whether or not when you get if you if you get an, not if you're in M and you get a thousand hertz and you cannot possibly slow down consistently for the next signal along that's a good sign that you should be in PZBU. Now obviously real train drivers don't use trial and error to figure these things out. There's actual maths that tells them based on the tonnage, the braking capability, and so on and so forth. Uh, rail driver support is in beta now. What support you're aiming at when you say it's not in beta anymore? Undetided at this point. Part of the problem is that um, we don't really have the data to tell us what the next best thing to do is with it or whether it's working fine and we can leave it alone. Um, there's always going to be more things to do, but we doesn't necessarily need those things to come out of beta. Um, so we're evaluating the rail driver at the moment. Oh, hello. Shake, shake, shake it. Who's that knocking on the green door? It's a red door, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's a red door. It's not a green door. Can't be shaky. No, Sam's ability to break, B R E A K, means he can run at PZBO. Because he breaks easily. Everything. Yeah, this is the BR155. Five kilometres. Whereabouts are we on the route anyway? Oh, not too far from the Dresden. I like that with the um, the rocks all in and amongst the trees up there. That's nice. <sighs> it's been a quite pleasant run. This I quite I always enjoy the one five five. And on this route, you've got to pay attention a bit more than I have done, so eh, that's fun. <laughs> Alright, I need to be slowing down to 55. Because we've got a 70 limit coming up. So in about half a kilometre, I'm going to get a uh, a warning sign. No, before then. Which means I'm probably going to get the brakes on again. Oh no, we're going, we're going. Come on, get down to 55. You can do it. 8, 7, 6, 5. We're safe. Woohoo! This is cool. All this going through here, you've got the tool at the house looking down on you as you go by. There's me looking like a toy train as I go by. I'm curious now, what do I look like as I go by? No, I can't get up there! Darn you game, foiled. I still look awesome, it's fine, it's all good. Does DTG have hackathons? Not really, we talked about it a couple of times and never really gone anywhere. Please work in Windows this week. You mean the Abula, the, the uh, fire plan? Yes, I want to get the Abula in at some point. 
Absolutely. If you could have a gay a route set in any country not already in the game, what would it be? I don't know. I know I used to enjoy playing the Dutch routes in MSTS along with Chris Longhurst's trains, so possibly that. All of them at once. Yeah, absolutely. How's the Demorphis Model Railway going? Really well, actually, Cameron. The um, mostly James and Will that look after the uh, the model railway and they've been doing a tremendous job they were in at the weekend carrying on with wiring and electronics because uh, they've got the track down for the lower layer of the of the of the layout now um, so they're getting it all wired up and uh, making it work Nigel dad's doing very well thank you very much for asking under the uh, 55 because we're going via an, uh, a flash yellow well the plan at some point is to stream the model railway yes the one that they're building here and yes it's DCC uh, Sutton two kilometers 40 kilometers an hour Oh, stutter, stutter. Uh, I believe we've still got the LNR license. Yes. I've no idea what control system they're using here. Uh, something. My dad uses the lens um, set 100. One point three kilometers. I don't know the answer to that, Saber. Um, whether there's a merch store. Uh, part of me thinks that there is. Part of me thinks that there isn't. So, I'll ask and find out. Yeah, I've got two more runs to go tonight. Are you going to start with Germany? Then we we'll do a bit of UK, Cathcut Circle. Then we we'll do some US on the Sand Patch Grade. Red light coming up, although we're stopping hopefully before the red light anyway, so it's all good. Yeah, I like me a bit of sand patch grade. Can you see the exterior? There you go. Is that good? <laughs> Get some brakes on. Dresden goes off to the right over there. And then this is the train heading up to this, this line up here. Where I guess it would ultimately carry on up that way. Going in that direction. Uh, this is uh, and the electric container, I think this is called in Frieger. Because of its delightful shape. I know, 
uh, the stop markers still aren't getting put in the right place, are they? In some cases, they kind of have to be pushed up because if you go forward and then you need to reverse, then the back of the train has to be in front of the signal. So when you, you, you drive in, this signal here, you've got to be clear of it to drive back out again, otherwise it doesn't work. Um, so sometimes it gets a little bit comfy, but other times that's um, not a valid excuse. 500 hertz, thank you. Oh, Dosto going in the other direction there. 150 meters to go. ground signal that I need to stop behind. There's no AWS on this train, uh, Jim Lad Connor. This train is a German train. It's got Pisa B zones, like that. Someone mentioned that these uh, the Chemnitz Tostos bug earlier on, yes. That's not ideal. Ah. Well, that wasn't too bad. A bit longer than the hour, but then I was taking it easy. Right, what are we doing now? We are doing Cathcart Circle. Dum, dum, dum. Where's Cathcart Circle? There it is. Yes, I am glossing over that entry there that no one saw. listen to him. Right, I am going to do, there is a scenario that I'm going to do. Is it around and around? Yes, run it in both directions. <clears throat> uh, yeah, getting the safety systems enabled by default is something I'd like to do. It's quite complicated, um, but um, yes, potentially. Am I picking up YouTube chat tonight? Yes, I am, Wolf Boy. Yes, I am. Right, so master key on. Put it into neutral. Uh, we will put it on to headlights and marker lights, which is that one. And then we will open the doors, and then we will turn on that. I think we're all good. There's no DSD on this thing. Only a DVD. No, sorry. There's no DVD at all. It is just AWS. Uh, cab lights, indicator dimmer, destination and route light turned on. I think we're all powered up and ready to go. Lock the doors. Sorry, there's a DSD but no DVD. That's it. The brakes. DSD is kind of pointless, though, to be honest, so I don't turn it on. If you're in a real train, it makes sense, but if you're in this one, it doesn't. This train's quieter, I think. Let me turn the volume back up a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
from one boxy looking train to another. Except this time it's blue. Where would I like to see trains in mod to improve the most? Honestly, at this point, frame rate and robustness. Add all of the last nice toy features you like. But if it's not you know, a polished, fun, high frame rate, reliable experience, then everything else can wait. I used to commute on the 315 Starlink Sec all the time. Remember them well. Must be super aerodynamic. I guess it is fast X, yes. In a headwind, this thing goes backwards. Do I prefer the 314 or 314 or 313? Don't really have a preference out of the two. Because it kind of doesn't matter if I want to drive East Coastway, then I can only drive 313. And if I want to drive Kafka, I've got to drive 314. You always wonder how in busy stations drivers can tell which of the signals apply, especially in the dark. Route learning and experience. Is there any substantial difference other than the drivetrain? Probably not, to be honest. The drivetrain is quite a substantial difference, though. Right, Pollock Shields west in 0.9 of a mile. Remember rightly, this is a splitting distance. is the green one, if I remember rightly. Depends which way we're going. Yeah, we're turning right. No coupling or decoupling of EMUs on any route timetable. Brighton's got them, Senor Snore. But no, none of the others do. Do licenses prevent you use a train like this on other routes and appropriate livery for the region? I'm not quite sure what you're getting at, Woody. Um, there's nothing stops us repainting this into another licensed livery, no. Yeah, switch the dynamics off, Jason. It'll be all, you'll find it's a lot nicer to drive. They don't run with dynamics in reality. So I don't know why we switched them on by default. To be fair, but um, oh yeah, none of the issues have been lost, Peppy and fan. They're all, they're all in the database. Three one three, was it a three one three? Because I think you're thinking of the silver link livery, the pur purple and yellow one, Woody.
SWT? Don't know. I know Silverlink ran trains that looked like 313s. So I don't know if they were 313s or if they were 505 or something. Yeah, North London line. That was it then. That would, that would have been Silverlink dialect. Before um, the loo roll came along and wiped it up. <laughs> <clears throat> what is the first non British train that you took that you liked most? <sighs> I mean, standout rides for me have been when I first rode my first Dosto uh, going to Jena in Germany. Um, when I rode my first ICE TD or T, I can't remember which one it was. Um, my first that was my first tilting train that was epic how's the Metro North coming along very nicely Right, Maxwell Park is the next stop. 313s and 508s. Yeah, I thought I remember seeing a 50 something on Silverlink. I didn't used to re ride the North London line very often, but uh, I usually regretted it when I did. Much better now with the uh, 378s. My most favourite. Um, British Army the Javelin 395. Bit of local bias, I'm afraid. Train fares in Germany are so cheap. Yeah, I did quite a long German train ride in Germany. Um, first class, just because it turned out to not have that much to the ticket. It was like 60 euro. Other than licensing, what's the most difficult thing about creating a new route, especially a new country? Well, making a new route, it depends. So, if it's got whole new kinds of signalling system, that's an immense pain. Um, if it's got new kinds of cab signalling, that's an immense pain. Scenery is not generally too much of an issue. The art, the environment art team tend to uh, uh, soldier on with those those kinds of challenges. Um, sometimes getting the technical data required for tracks, signals and all the stuff that you need to actually make a railway infrastructure work um, is, uh, is a challenge. Routes that don't have a cab ride on YouTube are fundamentally a pain in the bum. Pardon my language. So much easier if there's a decent cab ride on YouTube that you can look at. Even better if there are multiple and they go in different directions. Right, 35 Shorlands in 500 yards. Yeah, there's someone who does lots of German um, uh, cab ride videos as well. Uh, Joe is building the Harlem line at the moment. Hey there, Dead Rail, how's it going? How are we doing time-wise? Not bad, not bad. For me, anyway. I don't know if you can change the destination on the 465 Pegasus.
Did trains as a means of transport fascinate you when you were a child? I was always in awe. You know, I went train spotting all the time with my dad, and I was less interested in taking the numbers down. That felt like homework. Um, but just being around a train as it came in and feeling the sort of, is it as it, you know, rocked the ground as you went past you. Obviously, these were 47s, 37s, 31s, that kind of thing. Um, was just, it's one of those things that leaves a mark, you know? Uh, I am at the office, bad guy, yes. Have you ever scrapped any track after investing time in doing it because there was an issue blocking you from progressing? Yes. Not in... Yes, in TSW we've even done it. We laid all the track for a route and then thought again and thought, actually, that might not be a good idea. So we moved on. I don't know whether we'll come back to it because I'm still not sure it's a good idea. It's one of those things that... Well, it was going to end up, it was the next route after Rapid Transit, and it was going to end up being another route like Rapid Transit. <laughs> I was just thinking, we should really do something different instead of just doing the same thing again. <laughs> Why do people write down train numbers as they go by? Easy. Collecting. You're collecting it. You want to see which trains you've done. Then what you do is get yourself through Platform 5 Train Spotters book, or whatever the one is, whatever it is these days, and then you'll go home and you'll find them and you'll cross them out. And then you'll be able to say, oh, I've only got this one, this one, and this one left to see. It's, it's, it's like collecting stamps or collecting anything. Some people do it just on the locomotives or multiple unit numbers. Some people do it on individual coaches and wagons. I mean, that is hard work. You know, a train goes by and you're just thinking, right, I'm on the platform, it's doing 90 miles an hour, it's going by, we'll get the number. <laughs> okay, good, we got the number. But then there's my dad behind me going, <laughs> and I'm frantically writing down the numbers of all the coaches. And I'm like, how do you even do that? I'm on doors. Get on with it places to be. Can I show us the room you're in? Yeah, sure. Says the office. Just me here. Oh, hello. Shut up, AWS. Oh, hello. It's a yellow signal. It's a yellow doodad. Should probably do something about that yellow doodad. Why are we in an office? Because uh, I brought all of my... I, I'm back in the office now working. And uh, all of my kit for streaming is th the stuff I use during the day. So, because Railfan TV kicked off when we were at home. Uh, when we started moving everything up. You know, when everyone went home for COVID, you know, back in the day. Um, you know, uh, we set everything up. So, of course, now I'm back in the office... I kind of need to be where all the consoles and everything else is so that I can do the different streams. So I've got all the consoles set up just over there now. Um, and um, I can uh, do that as we go. That completely threw me, that light. Well, this is my home away from home, Senor Snor, to be fair. Don't let my wife hear, you say, hear me say that. Though. Get just between us, yeah? Well, there wouldn't be interruptions from the kitties anyway in the colder weather, because I don't leave the door open, because the garage is hard enough to keep warm in the first place. During the summer... Yeah, there might be interruptions from the kitties, um, but um, I'll be getting back to my own streaming at some point. Uh, hopefully not too far, because I only work Monday to Thursday now, uh, so I have three three-day weekends uh, on account of not taking any holiday all of last year. <laughs> so um, it's uh, 
So yeah, the, you know, and once I do my own streams, then um, the kitty can be in presence. Still yellow, uh, still red. I should have put DRA on stopping for that red. Whoops, never mind. Slap wrist. Nice. Uh, well, the the invitation went out yesterday to the entire Ralph and TV stream. It says, who wants to do something tomorrow? And uh, nobody else replied, so I did. I think Sam's got a lot going on these days, so he's busy. Official office kitty. Yeah, I know, but... I like to pretend I'm the boss, and if there was a cat around, then... The truth will be revealed. JD hasn't done a Let's Play. <laughs> yeah, this is a good point. Can I do a stream of me working? Is, is Excel going to be that interesting? I'm going to go ahead and suggest probably not. Right, coming up on that red, sneaking there behind that post. What the other thing is with streaming, it's just like there's nobody else here in the office. If there's other people in the office at the moment trying to work, then uh, they'd probably get really annoyed. So it's kind of the streaming in the office works when nobody else is here or when the people that are here are, uh, don't mind. But no, it wouldn't work during the day. <laughs> right, that's us with the signal now for uh, Cathcart. JD's just his initials because a lot of people got his first the same as name as his first name. So are you on the clock right now? No. I don't I don't I mean my my stream time is uh, is my time. Does anyone play on the consoles during the day without streaming? I mean there's lots of testing going on on the consoles. We've got retail kits. I've got some TVs over there. Um, I can't even point the camera there because you won't see them. But I've got some TVs over there with like um, a Series X retail kit. I think I've got a PS5 retail kit, PS4. So I've got some consoles over there. There's the Google Madness, whatever that was called. We've got one of those. Uh, don't seem getting used all that often, but occasionally you'll hear someone sitting over there and uh, chilling out for a bit. I wonder no one can get a console. <laughs> I'm on PC today, bo uh, Box Two One Five. I was going to use console, but I just never got time to get the uh, get a build put onto one of them. Not a spoiler at all, bad guy. Uh, basically, we picked one up because we wanted to have a look at it. I think we've got a switch out there somewhere as well. What can I say? We're a company of people that like game systems and playing games, so... Mm. 
I am thinking I might pick myself up a Series S. I've got an X at home. I think I might get myself a Series S. So it seems to have uh, more problems than most platforms, and I figure if I play, start playing that one as my main platform, then I'll be able to make sure I'm experiencing it as much as possible, you know, what the players are experiencing. Right, let's go to 35. Next signal at speed, uh, next signal speed, what? Next station is the word, uh, is Mount Florida. Words. They don't really matter. <clears throat> so, um, in terms of streaming bad guy, um, I do sometimes, if I haven't got access to my PC, I'll play um, Train Sim via xCloud. Um, on my phone. And uh, it works superbly well. Any news on Creators Club? No, not yet. There'll be more news at some point. Not too long now. Joe! There you go, man. How's it going? Xcloud has TSW. I'm fishing now. I think it actually plays it on a Series X as well, so you get the kind of like the deluxe experience, which is all awesome. When buying a PC, do you have to buy a computer with it? What does it come with it? So a PC is a computer, PC, personal computer. Um, uh, so if you buy a PC, you get what you need. Um, what you, you know, The bits you'd need to find out are, um, when you buy a PC, does it come with a monitor? Sometimes they don't give you a monitor because the people are upgrading, they've already got one. So if you haven't got anything, then you want to say, yeah, I want a monitor as well. And same for keyboard and mouse. Sometimes they chuck them in because, you know, frankly, a keyboard and mouse are decent. Or even like the one I'm using right now, this one is 11 quid. And it's perfectly good. Um, so, um, they sometimes chuck in a keyboard and mouse, but it's always worth checking or deciding if you want to pay a bit more and get a better quality one. But I question the value of it personally. So, but yeah, ask the people if you're buying a PC, ask the people you're buying the PC from what it comes with and just tell them you've got nothing at the minute and uh, you, you need everything to make it work. You don't need to. Unless you buy a, a, a PC, you build it yourself, it will come pre-built. You've just got to plug it in. Hey, Ribku, thank you for the raid. Welcome to the Dutch Contingent. I bet she does, Jason. I bet she does. Why when you close the doors there's multiple close activations? So you're telling it to start closing the doors and it will then keep trying until they do. Do I live near the office? About 45 minute walk. And in good traffic, or no traffic, about 10 minute drive. And in normal traffic, a 45 minute drive. <laughs> because they've got the uh, Medway Tunnel shut down to one lane and uh, apparently that brings Medway to a crawl. So pressing it multiple times until the doors are finished closing and then it'll stop doing it. <laughs> 
It's not so much complicated, it's well, but yeah, PC, buying PCs can be expensive. What about the train? That wouldn't, that wouldn't make any sense at all. It would take me the same amount of walking plus having to then do a train ride. Because I need to walk to Gillingham Station, train ride round to Chatham, one stop, and then get off and then do another long walk to get to the office from the Chatham Station. Is what again to an imitation there, Will? We work with ex uh, we have got uh, two or three people working out of Spain. Cafe Boomer is permanent employees. Um, and we obviously work with a lot of second party contractors, but we haven't got any other than the, uh, I think there's a couple, in, uh, two people in Spain. Oh, the doors, yes, that's a, uh, that's just the behaviour of the core game, yeah. Personal preference for general gaming? I don't know, I'm kind of 50-50 on it. I mean, I I like the sort of, the, the simple, uh, easy experience on the console. Particularly now I've got the Series X. The Series X outperforms my home PC quite a bit. So actually, even like Train Sim looks and runs much better on there than it does on my PC. Um, but I do sometimes prefer using the keyboard and mouse, so... Although I gather you can use the mouse now on the Xbox, so... I'm going to have to pl plug my keyboard and mouse into my Series X and see if I, see if it works. Right, Pollock Shields East are almost back to uh, Glasgow. Liam, you're trying to pick up a Series X? Yeah, they're a really good console. I love my Series X. See you later, Joe. What American passenger train would I like to see? So I'm not dropping any hints, okay? I just want to make that really clear, because this is not what's going to happen. But I have a personal thing I'd like to see. The uh, There's two things I'd like to see. One's the cellar on, on Boston, um, and the um, the other one is the um, uh, a Genesis with superliners. Um, I think that would be uh, particularly fantastic. Even if you couldn't really use it an awful lot, you know, they only do like two runs a day generally, um, but uh, those are a couple of trains I'd like to see in the game. I'm only 44 seconds behind, so I doubt I'll have missed my slot. Still got a load unload here, so that should give him time to clear the uh, window in front of me. NJT would be good to see as well, yeah. Good night, Simon. Thank you for joining us. There you go. See, light's already changed. Was Boston designed with your seller in mind? Well, Yes and no. It was one of those things that we kind of thought, well, this is a route we want to make. And then, um, I think, I know, it was, uh, that one was because Brandon had already done the track for it, or at least a large amount of the track for it. So it was kind of like, oh, well, we could uh, work with Brandon to finish that one, essentially. Um, so, but then at the same time, it was, oh, and obviously this is a really good section for the seller because it can do 150 miles an hour on this bit. Yeah, Los Angeles would be good as well. I'd like to see some West Coast, more West Coast. We've got Caltrain, uh, obviously, but it'd be nice to see some more West Coast operators like Metrolink and Coaster. Got 
got green light now. This is our approach into Glasgow, where we change ends. Do I remember the Acela and MSTS? It might even be the first train I ever drove in any train simulator, yeah. Morricon, my home PC is too old and cranky, and it won't upgrade. To, it won't. It can't be upgraded to Windows 11. It fails on a number on two, two or three criteria, so I don't have to worry about that. Good night, Nigel. Yes, of course, Moggy. Although mine would have been an... I think it was a Nelson on Southern Bell. Because I played Southern Bell before um, before I played the Evening Star. Now we've got one more after... In fact, we've got the other half of this scenario to do yet. Um, Cabo Pay and then we've got uh, Sandpatch Grade. Anything's possible, Derek. Anything's possible. The Tokyo Kone line was interesting, wasn't it? And the... Uh, what was the other one? Hidaka or something? That wasn't the Hidaka, was it? What was the uh, the one with the little Kia 31? I used to say Kia 31 like Kia was like a brand. And actually, it's just Japanese for class. <laughs> it was Hidaka, was it? What was your question earlier? Sorry, Copper, I missed it. You might be better off DMing me on Discord or something, because fly off the chat. Oh, consists for consist op contains excess elements. This is in TS twenty two, is it? Sounds like there's a mismatch between the train and what it you've actually got. No, K I H A Kia. Um You're probably thinking of KTX, Liam, that's the Korean high speed. Happens with couple order. It sounds like a mismatch somehow with the um, what you've got and what it thinks you've got. Hizatsu, that's it. The Sadaka is in TS1. And I didn't think that one had been in MSTS. Hizatsu, that makes yeah, that's good. Hey, thanks, you Harambo. Right, get doors open. Step three brakes, tail lights, into off, key out. Get out the correct side. Excuse me, folks. Out of the way, driver coming through. Thank you very much. No, I'm not looking for collectibles. So just stop judging me. I'm only right violating rule one. That make that makes a change. If I'm only violating one rule, couple up about. 
Drivers never run. <laughs> Master key. Neutral. Headlights. Marker lights. Lock the doors. No. They're pressing Y now. We're on the other side, Matt. Why did you open the wrong doors? Let's use this button and shut them both. This train sim classic dead? No? No, there's only just been some new releases for it recently. And there's more to come. Depends what you call dead, to be honest. But no, there's still content being made for it. Alright, we've got a green light. Let's go. We've got to hurry. We've got to go to our destination. It's a long way away in Glasgow. Any instrument lights? Yep, there they are. Oh, I didn't put the destination route light on either. Have I visited Grand Central Terminal? No, I've not actually been to much. I mean, all of my trips to America, because my wife's American, have been to um, non-railway things. So I've not actually... I, I did get to see some trains, go out for rail fanning for one afternoon. That was awesome. At um, the yard in, um, in Knoxville, it's closed now. I think it's closed. That I can't remember the name of. Sevier, Sevier Yard, Norfolk Southern. Well, this is the other way round. So this is a scenario, and you go one way, and then you change ends, and you go back the other way again. Well, it's the first, first, not just Norfolk Southern trains, but in all honesty, any trains, any American trains. I think my first ever American train that I saw, you know, um, in full was uh, was a, when I was a private owner one. It's a blue SD40 of some sort, of light blue thing. It looked like it was more, rather than being a livery blue, it looked like it was just they they painted it something to stop it rusting type uh, colour. Um, but then, um, you know, lots of Norfolk Southern stuff. Uh, they went to Knoxville Town, or Knoxville City, uh, and then over to Sevier Yard. Very cool. Uh, no, my wife doesn't work at Dovetail, my life as, as, as Isaac, um, but she does do um, contract work for things like voiceovers. So she'll be doing the voiceover for Harlem, she's recording it tomorrow. Pollock Shields East again. No, this is different. Yes, you'll notice this time that we got the green on the left of the two, splitting distance. Sorry, Daniel, what was your question? Does my wife like trains? Let's just say she tolerates trains. It's probably a safe way of putting it. Will we ever see dynamic dirt on trains when operators allow? Uh, I'd like to do that. Um, so I'm going to say hopefully, but not with any kind of a semblance of a promise or a time scale. Oh, yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can't. Un you can only couple to something which has never moved in um, TS1. You can't uncouple and then recouple to something. You kind of can, but you're playing a dodgy old game. Uh, 
Uh, so adding dynamic weather into service mode is not too hard, um, but we want to do a little bit more than that when we do it because otherwise you'll only be get the first, you know, the first 30 minutes will be the same all the time. So you want to be a different, bit different. Checking the player train checkbox. Oh, neat. <laughs> Sounds like a hack, but if it works, it works. See you later, Chief Longshin. Uh, Rui, uh, is there any development on general joystick implementation? Not at this point, no. We know what we want to do for it, um, but it hasn't made it out to... Um, uh, a plan to uh, to um, uh, do. In fact, we've done some of the implementation. It's just not made it out to something that can be productized into the main release. Uh, Tyler, how did I find Knoxville? Uh, really nice, actually. I, I got to be honest. I wasn't sure what to expect going to Tennessee because my experience had been Massachusetts, which I'm sorry, but I dislike. Um, mostly because it just reminds me of spending a whole lot of money to end up somewhere which is full of people that basically are even less friendly than the height than here um and then uh, that's where my mother-in-law lives and i'm not talking about my mother-in-law just to be really clear she's awesome but down south in florida is where my father-in-law used to live and i love florida absolutely brilliant mostly because i'm a hot i'm a hot weather person i really dislike the cold um and um but now that they live in tennessee because uh, after um hurricane charlie um, went over their heads. Um, that wasn't a happy time for them. Um, so uh, they moved to Tennessee. Wasn't sure what to expect. We went out there for three weeks. Had a blinking amazing time. Absolutely fantastic. Father-in-law took us, showed us all the sights, and yeah, it was really good. I already shut the doors. <laughs> Excellent. Massachusetts is not so bad. I'm exaggerating, but. It's amazing. They call it New England, and it really is just remind me a lot of cases of England. <laughs> Gatlinburg we went to. I don't know if we went to Pigeon Forge. I can't remember the names of all the places we went to. Gatlinburg, I remember, so we went down to. We went up to... There's like a preserved... I say preserved railway, like an old railway museum. It's only really a couple of huts, and they've got an old shay out, an old rusting shay out front uh, near the Smoky Mountain. So I went there. That was really interesting to look around, and it was also my first time seeing a shay full size, even if it was um, falling to bits. Um, that was good, though. I enjoyed that. But all in all, just had a really, really great time. I really liked Tennessee, actually. Suits my father-in-law because he's a musician. So obviously, uh, being being in and around Nashville scene is a uh, is a good thing. Do you have any plans to add American excursion locomotives? Do you mean like things like the Amtrak um, long distance trains like the, the Genesis and so on? Um, other than would like to, um, not to any kind of a uh, we are or anything like that. A uh, man doing the voiceover at Cornwall? I've no idea. That was Rivet. You'll have to ask Rivet on their forum about the uh, voiceover for Cornwall. Dovetail Forum, it's Will, is the best way. Send me a message on Dovetail Forum. Right, next station is Cross Hill. So it's quite a fun scenario, this, because First off, you start at Glasgow and you go around this way and up, and then you go back around the other way and go back up. So it's, it sort of feels a bit different.
Right, we've got a yellow light. Next station is Cross Hill. Good for 30 miles an hour. No, I didn't pick up pink, uh, the pink uh, controller yet, Liam. I don't have my own PS5, so... It's not high on my, my list. This is Cathcart indeed, Andrew. Oh, I forgot to buy AWS. You're right, I forgot to buy AWS on. Criminal. Yeah, oh, you're on Munich Augsburg, are you, Hentis? Right, let's let the, uh, the pass engines on. AWS. So you near the end of your run then, Hentis, heading westbound, or are you just starting it? Because Mering is pretty near the western end of the S-Barn, isn't it? Just like Mammendorf, something like that next uh, nearby. Oh, you're running a 143 service on me in Kogsberg, RB57020. Nice. Mount Florida. <coughs> Is it hard for us to, to make the, the driver sit at the station waiting for the train? I don't think so. We were at one point actually on this route going to make it to where you could sit on the, um, <laughs> for a little while you could sit on the uh, the little blue trains and when you press space I think it peeped but um, sitting on the train was kind of a weird concept so we took it out because uh, it wasn't really there, you're sitting in the middle of the flowers in your face. <laughs> it did make us think yeah we, we need to find something silly like that to do in the future. Uh, is the ACS 64 living in Scenario Planet? Should be. Let me know if it isn't, Liam. Should be. Coming in a bit hard on this one. If you find a post I've made, it's will somewhere in the TSW section. If you click on my name, there should be a way of sending me a message via that. No date yet for Liverpool, uh, Liverpool Steam Route, no. Will you ever get a three hour long route one day? Well, Sherman Hill's about three hours into it. It depends. I mean, if you drive Sherman Hill in an 08, about six hours. Drive it in a TGV, 20 minutes. Oh, well, no, it is a Gronk bad guy. Right, we have yellow light again. Oh, hello. I'm not supposed to have left yet. Thank you. What's the speed limit? 35. Going up to 40. Next station is Cathcart. Did Jamie go out to get to get? He wasn't. He wasn't there to get steam recordings, but he did go to the trip to the ATF and uh, for, uh, to get some photographs and video with the community team for future articles. So you should see some of that stuff.
What are system specs on this? It's a 3070, I think, with some sort of an AMD 5600. Can't remember what gigahertz. I think it might be four. Is it Jamie streaming tomorrow night? Uh, I don't know. What is the stream tomorrow? Will there be diesels on the steam route? No, certainly not at launch. Whether or not there's something that happens in the future, uh, but for launch, it's be focusing on steam route. Workshop Wednesday featuring one of the new routes. So that'll be, that will be Jamie then. Yes, bad guy. That'll be Jamie. That's why we can't go. Train in the way. No date yet for Horseshoe Curve Photo Factor. I, we're not aware of a limitation on the length of route you can make Pegasus Leo's Gaming. That's not to say there isn't one. Um, we just haven't found it. Because um, the whole track database has to be loaded into memory. The more track you've got, the more less memory you've got for other things. But then I don't know how much the memory the track database takes up. So, it's it, to be honest, you're you're much more going to run into problems with just the ability, the manpower required to actually make the route, the scenery, and so forth. Um, I think rather than anything else. Any time. Oh, hello. Oh, yellow. Other than license problems, is there anything that stops you making a certain route? It's more actually about the making the right route at the right time, in terms of what else has been made, what people are looking for, what kind of feedback we're getting on the forums. You know, it's um, the variety that we, you know, what have we made before? So if we've made lots of high-speed routes, then another high-speed route might not be the best thing to make right now, but it will be a bit later on. Um, licensing will definitely kill off a route idea, or at least postpone it for the future. Um, if it's got odd technical requirements, like um, s some of the more eclectic routes around the world, which have got multi-gauge track, for example, because we can't technically do that. But then, you know, if we decide we really want to do that, then we'd put the tech in place to be able to do that. So, really, licensing is probably one of the few reasons that will actually prevent a route being made. And even then, if we really want to make a route, either you could make it without brands, or you could make it in the past um, uh, and do it, um, you know, do it BR days, from the, for example, in UK version, or DB, DB days in German. Oh, stream schedule says. Oh, sorry. Yes, it's Droya. Yes, yes, yes. So Droya, Droya did a video for us for Festival of Rail, and um, the uh, there was an issue with it, so he couldn't use the video. So it's his video tomorrow. Should be good. No info yet on the DLC fix, um, Hentis. Um, the previous the previous attempt that had been undergo undergoing had run into some problems, so the engineering team had a rethink, and they're uh, they're uh, they're working way through a uh, slightly different way of doing it now. So, which was always a risk, but there you go. 
but they are back on a track now, so hopefully we'll get to test something soon. I need to have a check, catch up with the engineering team tomorrow and find out how they've got on. Yeah, Chicago L would be interesting tour guide games. I've actually got a uh, simulator for the PS3 uh, called Railfan, uh, which comes with three sims on uh, in there, one of which is the Chicago L Brown Line, and it is quite fun, actually. It's a Japanese import. It's basically one of those video moving videos, but it's got a bit cleverer than that. It's quite good. That's a red light, watch what you're doing. Thank you. Yeah, that was Dad Rail Kabepe. He was on, I don't know if he's still on the chat, but he was there earlier on. Hudson Line is longer Pegasus um, and presents different challenges, D's different stock. It's, it's a bigger, more complicated route to make. Um, than the bit of the Harlem line that we're that we're making. Um, dev schedules are, you know, if there's a, a slot to make a, a, an amount of time and resource to make a route, um, and you, you fit pro find projects which fit in the the holes in the schedule essentially. Um, and um, yeah, Hudson's a big project, whereas Harlem is um, is is more bite sized, shall we say? Still a lot of work, but. It fit the time window. Will LNER ever be added? It might be. I don't know. There's no plans at the moment, but it seems unlikely it would never be added. I think we've got a license for that in the R because we have it for TS1, so. <clears throat> Pollock Shores East, this is, which means next is Glasgow, isn't it? No, Shorelands. Shorelands, Maxwell Park, Pollock Shores West. Oh, okay, we've got loads to go, basically. Does the DRA work? It does. I should be using it, shouldn't I? Lighting on Cathcart Circle isn't that great, Tour Guide Games. Um, the team have been sort of learning new techniques for lighting through the Trans Ramp, uh, Chemnitz route, and the Re and the Risa route. So um, it's uh, something hopefully that can improve with future routes. Oh, we take the array off. I don't think I have lost any weight. I'll have to double check. I don't think I've lost any weight. I don't feel like it anyway. But you're the uh, second or third. I can only assume the camera is squashing me. <laughs> DRA, driver's reminder appliance. Basically, while well, that butt light is on and I've got the thing activated, it won't let me take power. It's literally like tying a knot and then trying to, why did I tie that knot? It's a reminder. 
the main thing is, for example, I'm coming up to this station on a red, and when I stop, I could get distracted, and if the signal is not visible, which it probably won't be actually, or it might not be, then you could, you know, when, if you've got distracted and you've forgotten that you've approached on a red, then um, you will relieve the station on, you know, full power essentially, as you as you normally would, um, and it's one of the main causes of spads. Now, the main causes of missing the stop marker like that is just, that's chatting and not paying attention to what you're doing. But put DRA on, and now what happens is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to open the door a couple of times and uh, uh, go and talk to the uh, train spotters on the other platform. How's it going? Good, good. Yeah, not bad today. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, yeah it's not a bad train. This fun to drive. Um, hello, you get on the train? Excellent. Um, been having a good day today, yeah, no trouble driving, it's uh, it's great, and uh, looks like there's plenty of trains on the on the route. You seen anything interesting? Yeah? Oh, good, nothing. It's pretty boring actually around here, it's just a bunch of blue trains. Every now and again I guess you see a car mining cream one, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Livery designer. <coughs> yeah, um, and uh, right, okay, looks like it's my time to go. I'll catch you, both, like, catch you all later on. Excellent. So we get back in the train and uh, shut the door in front of ourselves because that's what you do. Uh, and then we sit down and we think, right, it's time to go. Release the uh, shut doors and uh, release the brakes. And of course, we're not paying any attention because we've forgotten what we've done. And uh, and so, so, okay, and we go ahead and we apply the power. And uh, where am I going? Why aren't I going? I know I'm not going because DRA is on. Why is DRA on? Probably because there was a red light. Right, okay. I'm back in the game now. There was a red light up ahead. Let's watch for the next signal and see where it is. Boom. Roughly. The odd pink train as well, yeah. <laughs> Was it moving? It was rolling. The brakes will release, JMB, um, with um, DRA on. You just can't apply power. London Kings Cross to Scotland, BT. Crikey. That would take a while. <laughs> In theory, James A.W., you should be able to just change the control scheme once the scenario started. I can't remember whether or not it allows you to do that. What is wrong with the immersion system, James? Is it just preference or is there a technical issue? DRA is a UK thing, yeah. I'm not aware of anybody else having it. But yellow lights now, so I don't need to worry about DRA. And there's no train spots on this station, so there's no one to distract me either. Could we ever get the Eurostar? Possibly. I don't know. Again, I don't see any reason why not. Might be nice to have a decent route for it to run on. Uh, it might be good with DRA if you get surprised by a crashed UFO. Yes, indeed. Actually, that's a good point, Thief Nuker, because if you've approached a station on a um, on anything other than a green, then you'll be either under 1000 hertz or potentially even under 500 hertz if you're actually on a red. And after stopping at the station, the train will switch into restrictive monitoring, which means you'd be limited to um, 40 kilometers an hour anyway, 45, but 40. Um, and so if you're not paying attention, you'll speed up and then bang out and bring it to a stop. So yes, effectively you kind of get the similar functionality from DRA, just done a different way. What's the significance of Xbox One, James? So 
thing happened. Yeah, it's really good, isn't it? I, I love PZB. I think it's a fantastic system. Chief reason I prefer German routes, if I'm honest. The signals and the uh, PZB. Not Sifa, though. Sifa can do it. The B above the brake gauge is the cab end. So this end has got a B in it, and the other end has got an A in it. I'll show you in a minute. Yeah, so this has got a, uh, a B in it, because we're in the B end. Open the doors, and now we'll run for it. What's our signal? Green? Good. Actually, if I just go into this cab, it'll do. You can see, actually, it's got an A on the end on that one, because this is the other end of the three car set. So this is the A end, and this is the B end. Just reminds you which end you're driving. Lock doors! Let's go central. What do the A stand for then, Cameron? <laughs> you sometimes find in trains they've got, uh, like American trains, they've got a little F on the front, on the um, sole bar on the side for the front of the train. Um, some British trains will have like, a, or some other trains will have like a one or a two, depending on which cab end you're in. Sometimes it's an A or a B. Jonathan, still being looked at. You need the license from the train company, not so much to do the route, but you need it if you want to include their logos or their trains, which have got their logos on. So if you want their logo on station boards and things like that, um, but mostly if you want to put the trains on. Yeah, Reading Station is rebuilt about every five minutes, isn't it? And just... Right, cruising into Glasgow, that'll be the end of the uh, Cathcart section. If absolute favourite current route, Dresden Risa. Jonathan, Dresden Risa. The variety of stuff on it uh, is uh, right up my street. This route, 
because I quite like the kind. This is kind of my style of gameplay. I like the stop start, but it only does one thing. There's lots of different journeys, but it's all in three one three. Whereas Navica Dresden is all different trains doing all different things, especially if you've got the other layers on. I appreciate that's a sore point, but. Have you ever privately downloaded and played some liveries? No. So on TS1, I rarely, if ever, download anything uh, um, from mod sites anymore. Because I need to keep my installs relatively um, clean in case I need to make any builds out of them. That was certainly when I used to play TS1, that was the main thing anyway. But kind of the same thing applies for TS World. So I try not to put mods on so that whenever I'm playtesting the game, I'm playtesting it the way the majority of players will see it. Hey there, Miller, how's it going? Eighty six, eighty seven. I'd love to see an eighty six or eighty seven. Uh, Paul, totally. Classic tap changer. I think rail drivers for GWE is coming. I don't know when, Andrew, but I think it's coming. I'm sure it's been done now. What's my job title at DTG? I'm executive producer of Trains in World. Is off the rails needed for other locos from the same country? So off the rails is needed if a loco doesn't show up in the list without off the rails, essentially. Normally that would be a, route, a loco you wouldn't naturally expect to run on that route. Need to be on the buffers. Eh, uh, you know, it's not bad. It's fine. Oh, I see what you mean now. It's not fine at all. I need to be on the blue marker. Darn it. That's correct. 612 won't show up on any route because no route has been updated to say the 612 is valid for it. So we need to go back to the old routes and add the 612 to its list essentially. Clinsfield is getting the new one and the internal build has already got it so again it's just a matter of getting it out. No more updates on uh, so Series X I don't think should be having much stability issue now. Sound of course. Um, Series S has got some stability problems because it's got so little memory. It's got less memory than an Xbox One X. So we're still trying to work out the right way of solving that problem because uh, it might be trying to do too much. Right. So I'm going to have uh, switch this over to sand patch grade. You didn't see that. Don't panic. It's not there. You didn't see it. Um, sam no, that's not the route. Uh, that one. Right, I'm going to go and make myself a quick coffee because I'm parched. I'll be back in a minute.
there. <sighs> right, so I was so hyped to get back to the stream that I made my coffee back to front. 80% milk and 20% water. Kind of a dummy, am I? I don't even know why I did that. It's just like milk was... I poured a load of milk and I'm like, why did you just do that? Never mind. Jason, the chair told us a secret that you didn't see. Ah, oh, dang it. See, this chair isn't trained. You know, the one at home is trained. Or so I like to believe myself anyway. <coughs> right, so I was going to go explore scenarios. The try needs to be taken down the Great Cumberland. Let's do this one. Uh, office layout, I think, is... It's kind of like one else model railway, and it's kind of nothing in particular but kind of mech Um So, I don't know, 80s, 90s and everything around either side and all the regions because the American stock will be run on it and you know, anything and everything will be run on it because we're train fans I know James has got his OPT that he's desperate to get running on it as would I be frankly no I don't want to be here all night Another hour would be fine, and then I think another hour, and then I start getting in trouble with um, with the boss. So, Banky Com, see it appeared on the C forty. Woohoo! <laughs> She's there. Uh, so I told you I'd get in trouble. You lot are no good. You don't protect me. Anything else I need to worry about on here? Let's just pretend it's fine. Right. He'll start action going on. We're rolling now. We've got the high ball, which is the light on the top. Looks like we're still the airflow meter is telling us that we're still filling up the rear of the train. So we better not apply the uh, brakes until that's cleared up. That's cancelled itself out. Yeah, I like the C40 as well, uh, 3900. And I like Sandpacks grade, so win all round. You've got an auto rack train heading the other way, elephant style locos on the front. Now, this is my last one tonight. It's Will.
It's on sale at the moment, seven at eight dollars. Nice uh, photo factor. So we are. This is Summit. We go through, and during Sandpatch Tunnel, which is this tunnel here, um, is where you get the gradient change from up to down. And then you've got the uh, steepest bit of the gradient around this area here. Um, and then it kind of levels and evens out and is a relatively even run down to about there somewhere, I think. And then you're flat-ish. And then and up to 50 miles an hour, then down into Cumberland. So really, it's managing this transition over to Dynamics, um, the air brakes are starting to fill up, so you can see the airflow meter is now coming down. So the rest of the train, all the rest of the wagons, are now going to have functioning air brakes. Uh, which is one of the reasons I'm backing off on the power is just to uh, make it to where I don't need to rely on them too much. So this is one of the things this scenario does is is teach you how to use the air brakes. Sorry, teach you how to do the transition into uh, downhill running. Right, we're now downhill. Let's turn the cab light on. So we're going to put a minimum reduction. Just get on with it. And then we're going to apply the dynamics. So we have to wait for it to power down. Put it in setup. So you can see where we are holding sort of still at the moment. Speed-wise, we're not doing too bad, so I'm going to leave it in setup. Uh, but as more and more and more of the train makes it over the the um, bank, you'll see the um, the accelerometer start to um, to tip over. At the moment, it's going the other way because more and more of the air wagons are bringing their air brakes to bear. But actually, you can see actually that's just moved, starting to tip forward now. So as we uh, as we cross that. And more of it crosses the uh, crest of the hill there, so that will come forward. I'm just going to release the air brake actually. <coughs> Don't need the air brake right now. Start on the dynamics and then move to the air brake. Not quite sure why the scenario tells you to use the air brake first. So now we've got to wait for the uh, airflow indicator to clear again. But that won't take too long because there's only minimum set. But at least we're speeding up again, if gently. Uh, it is uh, Droya is on the channel tomorrow as well, with TS1. That's it. Clearly starting to speed up now as we get the weight on the downhill. Have you got the C40, Joshua? The scenario is called Slippy Descent. is a little more than coffee milkshake, that wasn't bad. Right, so I'm going to start easing the dynamic brakes in more. You can see immediately the loco, the accelerometer is bouncing around because it tried to brake and the wagon said, no, on, on. So I'm going to keep applying the dynamic brake gently until we start seeing that levelling out. Right, 
we're on B5, B6, B7, that's it, just about level now. So we've managed, we're, we're holding the speed now, ish. But since we're going too fast, I'm actually going to get that minimum set going now. So with the minimum set applied, you can see we're now slowing down. So now as well, as we slow down, I can now release the dynamic brakes. Hey Philip Connor, how's it going? Oh, I need to bail off the loco brakes. That's why it was spinning. Bring off the dynamics, then we can keep an eye on the accelerometer. You can see we're holding it about level now. So all of the wagons are now braking or with a minimum set. The loco has no air brakes on because I bailed it off, but the loco is using dynamics, which I can now control. And effectively, um, they're like the, uh, the 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 air brakes are a blunt instrument for braking, whereas the um, electric the dynamic brakes are a bit more like a scalpel. But you can only do a little bit with a scalpel. So you've got the the blunt the, bl um, the brunt of the braking being done by the um, uh, by the wagons on the air brakes and then we can refine it um, with the dynamics. If you find you're going too slow, then we can just tail off the dynamic brakes and speed up a bit. So we're speeding up now. The accelerometer tells us we're just gently speeding up. Let's get the wipers going. How far to Mance Curve? We're on, technically, we're coming round to Mance Curve now. This is the horseshoe on Sand Patch. What you need to be aware of is also that dynamic brakes become less effective um, beyond a certain speed. So, they're, again, their effectivity, uh, eff eff efficaciousness, or whatever, is, is, a tr is like a, um, a, di a di triangle. So they become more effective as, as you at lower speeds as you speed up, but then beyond a certain point they start becoming less effective, and you need to rely on the air brakes again more. So you want to try and find the ideal speed for your for what you're doing, and try not to go above it so that you've got full flexibility with the dynamics, because air brakes are pain in the backside. You couldn't do it without them, but they're just not flexible enough. Just going to ease off the dynamics again because I want a little bit more speed. It's about 30. It's kind of your um, generally your balance point. Hey, King Street, how's it going? The nice benefit of using all of the brakes like this is I'm also not overly relying on any one brake, which obviously I don't want to do in this bad weather. You kind of want to spread your braking across the entire train. I really need to get my number lights on and turn the cab light off. Number lights are probably around here somewhere. Let's have a... Uh, where are they? Short hood number lights that'll be the ones. There we go. Now they're lit up. Why is it called bail off Paul Kappa? Honestly, not sure. Probably to do with what it's doing or history of it, I don't know. I don't know for sure what the reason is there. Maybe somebody else could tell us. Right, so we're speeding up again, so I'm going to uh, just to gently apply dynamics. The thing is, whenever you're making change to your braking, you want to make a small change and watch the effect of the change. And then think about making another. Don't just go, oh no, <laughs> loads of brakes. 
because you'll just stop the train or lose all your air and then you can't stop the train. Well, you can. You can hit the emergencies and blow the emergency reservoirs, but no one needs that pain in their lives. Look at that view. Oh, I love this route so much. Bring it back down to four. It's only one and a half percent gradient, and it will level out a bit now. I think we've kind of, kind of done the worst of it, which is still about 1.92 percent, and it only does it briefly, and then you're down to sort of one and a half down to one percent for the majority of the way back. Camera, behave. Oh, crossing. The trees on the top look like a toupee. <laughs> ease off the dynamics actually a little bit. Let the train speed up a little bit. Downhill running is one of my favourite things in, in, uh, in the American stuff. It's like uphill running I don't think provides a huge challenge, just put the appropriate power on. Uh, but downhill running is all about managing the dynamic brakes, managing the air brakes, particularly the transition from ascent to descent, and making sure you get that right, trying to get it to where you always feel like you're in control of it. Uh, it's it's going to need new physics set up on all the stock derricks, so this it's a non-trivial change to do that, but that's something that we need to looking at. Um, so, yes. Not yet. Pile on the dynamics to get us slowed down. Back under 25. This is the beauty of it. You can, you can't do this with air brakes, because now I'm back under 25. I can release the dynamics or let the dynamics go a bit, and we're no longer slowing down. Whereas with air brakes, you'd still be slowing down for ages, and then you wouldn't have air brakes for a little while. <laughs> you'd probably stop the train. Really awkward to use air brakes.
holding speed nicely. We're on a 1.8% now, a bit steeper. Grade changes fairly frequently on this, actually. You do need to watch it. You suddenly find yourself slowing to a stop or uh, um, running at a crawl. Or running away. Is there any timetable for the 4650 on the computer? No, because they only run Victoria and then straight off the route. They don't turn down the route at all. Uh, they're all heading off the route immediately. changed to 1.5% so I've taken off a bunch of dynamics let the train speed back up No, they don't fly in total. They're southeastern trains, so they, they don't run down the southern route. A bit more on the dynamics just to try and balance this out again. Jason. Yeah, way until I have to say it's probably my favourite livery as well. I quite like the stripe livery, CSXS, um, of the new SD40. But no, I do like the way into blue, grey, yellow. It's got yellow ends. How can it be wrong? Really. Ease up the dynamics. <coughs> Hey Gareth Collins, I'm very good, how are you? Hello.
there's a speed to it. It's alright. I've dropped to a 0.8% gradient, so I'm just going to bring off the dynamics back down to uh, fairly minimal now. I think at some point we can release the air brakes along here and then you're entirely managing it on the dynamics. Restream bot has died. Oh, okay, I think I know what happened there. <clears throat> Try that. Hopefully, that'll bring the bot back to life. Yeah, it's, it's you. Uh, oh, you're back, Joe. Good nosh. Yeah, looking at our speed, uh, we're slowing down. I'm just going to get the air brakes off now. Airflow meter is indicating the rest of the train is charging. Accelerometer is showing that we're speeding up again. So I'm going to dial back in some dynamics so that we don't gain too much speed. We just manage it on uh, on a bit of dynamics now. What happened with Restream? So if I, I went off the window on Restream I've got another tab open on the browser with the Restream page on and if you're not logged into it the bot just switches off it's only there if you're um, on that page and I did wonder if that's what would happen but there you go so I just logged back into Restream and joined the chat with Restream so basically that's what, no it's your fault Bobby you didn't tell me not to do that. There are no platform announcements in any TSW add-ons, Gareth, no. Bit more uh, dynamics. We're up to 1.2%. Speed limit's gone up to 30, though, so we have a bit more. Oh, is it Nat's fault, Liam? Sorry, Moggy. Apparently it's Nat's fault. My mistake. This, if I remember rightly, I can't remember what it is. This bench is the one that's here in reality and was added by, by a local specifically for rail fanning. And all the benches on the route are, are based on this one. This is the only real one them in the right place um, and it, yeah it was added specifically for rail fans to sit and watch the trains <laughs> uh, train simulator is me at the moment Leroy because that's me logged in from uh, Restream
Uh, looks like the air, the air, all the uh, reservoirs are refilling nicely. They're almost done. Point one percent gradient. So just trying to manage the dynamic break now. Let's be gradient changes. You realise that the VOD is recorded. Liam and Nat was here last I looked, so besides, yeah, as someone said, she's only protecting me from myself. I don't know where to stop. I think there was an update recently on London Brighton, um, Tom. It's not the last one, but it's 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 another step forward. One point three percent gain to where air is not holding it again. Pump in a minimum, and as the air brakes kick in, we can see the speed start to drop, and I can release the dynamics to co compensate. the dynamic spinning down because with minimum air set on a 1.3% uh, gradient we're not going to need much dynamic hey Scorp, how's it going? I'm doing well, thank you no, not really, I just Trying to be a good boy these days, you know, make sure I'm asleep by 1, 2 a.m. at the latest instead of my usual 4, 5 a.m. Makes it much easier to get up at 9. Or 8, 8, sorry. Right, we've got a yellow light coming up, so... Uh, that'll be because of the... Uh, uh, the go by probably. No. Well, you see, previously I was working at home. So it's like, it's barely worth going upstairs, essentially. Yeah, but I did, because I feel like that would be a bad trend to set. It's bad enough going to bed late. Whereas one of the benefits of being in the office, being back in the office, is kind of normal, under normal circumstances, I'm going to go home at a normal time. And then I'm not going to have all my work equipment, so I can't be tempted to work. And I'll be more inclined to play games and other fun stuff. Let's release that air set now, we don't need it, we're slowing down. Keeping the dynamic brake on, we'll keep an eye on the speed. There was a post... Um, Yesterday, I think, in the announce forum, I think, about the uh, today's Let's Play and the rest of the week streams, I think, wasn't there? 
when are you likely to be back, Joe? You don't have to answer on the forum if you don't want to. Send me a message on Teams. Dialing up those dynamics. Spin them up. Of course, now it's up to 1.4%. What stops you streaming from home? Nothing. If what I'm doing is a let's play like this of all released content, that's fine. If I want to show console stuff, <coughs> I don't have dev kits at home anymore. I brought them all back to the office. Um, and if, uh, I mean, I could show pre-release stuff on PC at home, but I kind of pretty much want to do my work streams at work now and I'll do my home streams at home. I want to get back into doing my own streams as well. And part of that is separating the two back out again. And we need to get back into wrecking, absolutely. Let's get another minimum set applied. Yeah, pub quiz again on with JD on Thursday. Should be fun. I'm doing very well, thank you, Golden Ticket. Glad to be back in the office working. I like working with the team who are in here. Feel connected to everything. Other streams have I got in mind at the moment? Nothing in particular, will point. I kind of want to just do my own versions of these. So I only work Monday to Thursday now because I'm using up an absolute ton of um, leave. So I've got um, Fridays off and I'm thinking I might do a me stream on a Friday evening. which would just be basically sitting playing the game, doing exactly this, enjoying the game, enjoying the community, having a chat. One and a half percent has just about tipped it to where the minimum set can't hold it. So we are gently accelerating. Well, I also want to get back to doing the charity stream at some point. I haven't done one in ages. We've got, we're getting into a good rotation of, earning, of raising an absolute ton of money for um, charities, and uh, that all stopped, <coughs> which isn't good enough. The last one I did was right at the beginning of um, the pandemic. Raised nearly 4,000, about two grand each for the NHS and uh, Medicine South Frontier. I've got no update on announcements, um, Pegasus, I'm afraid. May, yeah. 
May last, May, May, is it, was it just May last year? Yeah, it probably would have been. Pandemic, it seems like it's been going on for years. <laughs> what does the banking com button do? It takes control of the train, other trains and other, other trains that are in the consist. It doesn't matter, um, it doesn't matter about these two because they're physically connected together, but if there's more locos, say, on the back, then it will take control over those. It's kind of a fictional thing because in reality there's a system called DPU, which is a lot more complicated, um, and or there'd be another engineer in the rear set and then you'd be radioing backwards and forwards. Um, but banking com sort of fictionalizes and does, it allows you to emulate that behavior. So if you've got rear lorry trains that you, rear locos you want control of, you'd uh, turn banking com on and then if you fly the throttle, they apply the throttle. Do you still do much video uh, uh, uploading, Hentis? You used to upload to YouTube, don't you? I don't know if you still do. Well, if you've got things like Jeeps and SDs, unless they're uh, like modern SD 40-3s or something, they don't have DPU capability, so you'd, you'd, you'd use manned helpers. Um, it's only when you've got the more modern trains with DPU ability that you, you don't need them. <coughs> the engineer in the front can drive the whole thing. Oh, that's cool, Hector. So at least you're still growing your channel a bit. But yeah, as Joe said, keep an eye out on the um, dovetail um, uh, vacancies and see if anything there appeals. Right, so we are now running around to Heinemann. Minimum dynamic plus the air is just holding it nicely on the one and a half percent. 
Please do, Liam. You're most welcome, Michael. Glad you enjoyed it. Good evening, Northern Rail. It is still evening. Good. I'm not in trouble yet. Yeah, I'm going to look at the colour change thing uh, at some point, Wolf Point, because uh, it would be handy. I, one of the things I actually want to do more than that is make it so that... Because really, the tiny bit of movement in the middle is actually the most important bit. Beyond that, it doesn't really matter. You just need to know whether it's going one way or the other. So actually what I want to do is put like a logarithmic scale on it so that it magnifies out the change in the middle becoming much more visible. Uh, and beyond that it doesn't really matter, it can just, just compress that down. But making that, you know, that tiny bit of change in the middle so much more visible will be much, much more useful, I think. Almost at Hyman. This is the curve at the top end of Hyman with the siding on it. I mean, we're going past the uh, the Gabis uh, in a minute. Indeed, there we go. I can. whatever are just down here old chessy cabooses cabees well, I don't know what are we doing it 
cool, huh? No, the new way of Steam is recorded, uh, audio is recorded for Steam is a specific technique unique to Steam engines. Right, let's get the air brakes released. Speed limit's 50. It's time to grip and rip. Drop the brakes out of uh, dynamics. Boom, accelerometer soars up because we're still on a 1% drop. Hey, it's Bobo, how's it going? Make like a tree, get out of here. Throttle on down a hill, eh? Living living it large. Well it was Moggy, but you're supposed to respond, you know? Supposed to say the next line. You clearly need better training. It's like, ah, oh, here come the excuses. Uh, yeah, the team is still looking into the crashes. Um, it's well, well, are you, what platform are you on? What, what uh, console, I presume? Power off and bring in dynamics just to maintain the speed. You're on PS4. Have you got the BR101? If so, try. Oh, you can't uninstall on PS4. That's a pain. On the other platforms, you can uninstall a single DLC. The BR101 seems to push it right over the edge. update, I don't have one. People asking for press crew update, I don't have one for you at the moment. Um, and um, anything else? Will the Jubilee have real life nameplate? nameplates? Yes. They just were there on the screenshot because um, it was using random, a random name with a random number. Golden ticket, uh, I don't know. Um, it's about getting a, a, te a tech artist to uh, create the spark effect. The actual tech is pretty much there, short of testing. Indeed it was, Entis. Back to the future reference. At least this bit you can get a bit of speed up. Let's watch a freight train go blasting past and just make the assumption that the engineer is in control of the train, because why wouldn't they be? And then realise that Matt's driving and go, argh, and run for the hills. I'm trying to sort out the press crew issue at the moment, Alan, I don't, I don't have an update for you in a minute.
No, we don't cover trains in snow quite so much these days, Jason, because in a lot of cases they don't have a lot of snow on them um, because they're hot. You know, or they'll have been cleaned before they go out. So actually, in a lot of cases, when you look at snow-covered photos, that on average they're, they're, they're not much sign of them being in snow. Um, yes, they're extreme shots, but we're trying to cover the average. Now then the flip side of that obviously is you've then got them sat in a siding or something where they would get covered in snow. But generally what you want is the is the stuff that's moving to look less wrong, uh, if you like. And um, that's why we've erred on the side of having less snow on them these days. Because for example, if you had snow on the top, this is gonna, this has got snow on the top, I think. Yeah, you wouldn't actually have snow on the top here. It would all have melted away. That's hot. So, we don't do that these days. Snowballs with wheels. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> Eight point seven now to Cumberland straight shot <coughs> until we get into the area of the terminal. Gradient's eased up, back off the dynamics. I don't really have an absolute favourite route loco. I generally veer towards southeastern high speed and the class 395 um, for UK or Dresden, Risa and anything on that route for Germany. In America, I don't actually know. The kind of, because it's all so different, there's been a big difference between Sherman Hill and um, Long Island or Caltrain even. So it's to it depends what mood I'm in and what I want to do. Snow accumulation is something I'd like to look at at some point, but it's time consuming um, and we need to work out the right way of doing it. If I want something simple, I'll probably drive an Electrostar. There's not a lot to driving an Electrostar. And then usually that cheers me up and I'll drive something more fun. <laughs> Sorry, Joe. Not really. Sorry, Joe. <laughs> oh dear. You're a bit easy, Joe, you know. I'm no better, I know, but... We have a laugh.
Shush Mogia, it's 319s for you. Yeah, I always, Fabian, I always laugh at my hardest and heartiest and most honest when it's at other people's expense. It's a, it's a character flaw. Speed's coming back up now. Ah, but the gradient's levelled off. And we've got a 35 limit coming up, so I'm going to put up the uh, dynamic brakes, put in the minimum set. Let's get that speed bled down. Brakes. Given that we're on the flat, I'm going to take it out. I'm going to leave it in setup on the dynamics, which is minimum position. Crunch. Hackens <laughs> released their brakes. Kicked my trains hard. Couplets of coupling left everywhere. Again, having used the air brake, you need to keep an eye on your airflow indicator where you've got one and, uh, and it works. <coughs> then um, uh, use that to gauge the best time to be able to reapply the brakes and know that... It's not about reapplying the brakes, it's knowing what they're going to do. Because if the back of the train hasn't pumped back up to 90 psi, if you drop the front of the train down to 84 psi, which is the minimum set, then let's say the back of the train is at 82, then you're not getting any brakes at all on the back of the train. <coughs> and for some wagon, some of the freight cars at the back of the train. So, if, whereas if you know that it's no longer pumping air to the back, you know you've got 90 psi on the rear. I don't know if this has actually got end of train. That should be here. don't know why we're not getting end of train. Has it got end of train? It's got no end of train. Joe, make a note for someone tomorrow, please. It's not so much that it's hard, although it's not easy, Pegasus. It's just it's a job that needs um, to be uh, allocated time to, and there's a billion of those. <coughs> I'm not saying it was you. Just say make a note, put it in Jira tomorrow. Four point eight miles to Cumberland Terminal. We're nearly home. dynamics thundering up in the background there. 
again we've dropped to a 0.7% so we're approaching a 1. Hey Fabian, yeah the steam locomotive is looking great. The team have done a good job. Credit to uh, BM uh, Bossman Games for the original models we use. Gradients now dropped to 0.1. So, as the train comes off of the um, the gradient, so we'll see the speed start to drop. And speed limit goes up to 60, but it's lying because it's about to drop back down to 35. Now we're going to get dropped down to 25, so I'm going to put the minimum set on the air again. Don't make major braking changes with the aerodynamics, You're just overdoing the braking at the front of the train. Down to 25, so 3.8 to Cumberland Terminal stopping point, you know, which means you're not far from Cumberland Terminal now. I think it's probably round this corner. Then we go under the bridge and into town. Uh, yeah, they've got all 1950s, uh, 1950s, well, the, the closest they can get to a 1958 working timetable for both passenger and freight, so it should be pretty close. Here we are, we've got the, um, you can't see it on this route, but on the other side of this hill is the other railway, I think it goes across that bridge. That's the um, the preserved line, the um, Maryland thing. But I can't remember the name of. Um, they've uh, so that's a really, really, really interesting line. There's some fantastic videos of steam engines going up the bank um, around the corner. So the uh, the line goes up there, I think, and around there it curls round and goes up that way. And um, some smashing videos on YouTube with these steam trains absolutely thundering up the bank. Not paying attention. Got the air brakes on to slow me down. Let's just raise it back again. Western Maryland Scenic Railroad, that's it, thank you. Yes indeed, this URL not found, that's the one. <coughs> Definitely worth hunting down some videos of the Western Maryland. Fast X, I've got cab sway set to 200% because I like I like seeing the motion. And a train like this, running on tracks like this, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be gliding along. Put it that way. There's the river. We're following the river now. Just north of Cumberland. Chop 
dynamics back to set up. So he's slowed down for the 15, but that's probably on entry to terminal, actually. Boy, that's a bit joke. Star out of the game for every time he sets. There's the bridge. We turn right and go into the town. far now until the uh, until the 15 and the uh, split off got the air brakes set now slow it down to 15 Off, we can manage the rest on dynamics now. Thud as the wagons release and smack into me. Do train companies make timetables for freight trains? Less so these days. I mean, the, the, it's normal. In America, tra freight is normally, you know, like this train runs weekly, this train runs daily, this train runs as needed. So, as a mine fill, as it's got enough to fill a train, they'll send one to uh, take it all out. Um, so, it's varying. I mean, Sand Patch Grade has got actually surprisingly little freight on it. Um, that the route timetable depicts essentially an entire week's worth. Of all optional, of all the mandatory and all the optional trains running on one day. <laughs> so otherwise, there'd be very little in the way of services. Right, we're going uphill now, so I'm going to take off the dynamics entirely. Give it a couple of notches of power. Hey Paul, will we now see more steam mirror routes added? Who knows? I got no I, I don't have anything particular to share on that, but um I'd certainly like to see that. Oh yeah, we crossed midnight. Oops, probably in trouble now. Never mind, we're nearly finished. Make sure that our path is set through manual junctions. Should be, because it's the first move into manual junction areas from an automatic block, so it's also. No, Joe, don't! Lecture stars are lovely. Put it 
back in dynamic brake because we're uh, we need a little bit of brake power here now. Come on, amps, please. Is at this speed, you're not actually going to get a whole ton out of the dynamics, but it is. It's getting there. It's better than using the loco brake. Hi, Elton. Yeah, this scenario is running on a little bit. Well, all the scenarios have run on a little bit, to be fair, but hey, here we go. I normally do six scenarios, I've only done three, but I picked three long ones. <laughs> First one was nearly an hour and a half. We're in Cumberland Terminal now, <laughs> but we're still one and a half miles from our destination. No, you don't want AFB. AFB is cheat mode. You mean where they cut the power out above certain speeds? I think the G6 does. I oh, know the 363 does it. Depending on whether it's in shunt mode or long distance mode. is to protect the train. Get the dynamics off, leveled out now. And that's half of this scenario, and then the other half of the scenario is this last point no, never mind. Seems like anyway. Just gotta get to there.
Not on Sky now. Yeah, again, the snow has been the snow has been put on the cold. You probably wouldn't do anymore. The snow would just get blown off, or well, it wouldn't land in the first place. Uh, Kevin, this is the last one. I'm just finishing this now. Been going for just over four hours. Oh, you've been switching your career stories to standard bar, uh, standard bar test, Chris. Nice. Nice. Glad the video is useful. Could the steam trains there on to a Somerset? They don't currently. I don't know if that will change before release. Potentially at some point. <coughs> I would think of doing it as a separate timetable. Because it's kind of cluttered with diesels at the moment. And it is intended to be a diesel gala. But maybe having a, uh, and a second timetable, which is more of a normal day, where you've got a bit of steam and a bit of diesel going, or something like that, perhaps. That'd be quite fun. I can't remember if the triangle down the bottom of the route works. Let's have a look at that. We are trying to fill sidings up better with newer add-ons, uh, Barsi, uh, Cowie, but the, uh, this one was quite, this is a relatively old add-on now, and um, yeah, these ones, they, there wasn't much put in the sidings. Yes, playable, Joe. That's it, Play, use a player, player accessible. Or is it AI train accessible such that you could hand over to AI to do the turn round on the triangle? You do you do use the triangle. I thought we'd use the triangle, yeah. Uh, Edward, there's no real world, well, there's no editing tools built into TSW2, no. There is a scenario planner and a livery designer in the system, but there's no world editor built in, no. Jay, when's the 700 coming to TSW2? Not a clue. Lots of demand for it, though. Minimum brakes on. Don't have to apply lots more, because you see the accelerometer is showing more and more and more brakes. It will slow down nicely. As long as we stop somewhere on here, it's all fine. Can AI trains leave with you on Scenario Planner? On parallel lines, I imagine. So yeah, you know, if you've got paths that run side by side, then I don't see why not. Set the AI train start time to the same as yours. It just can't be before yours. There we go. All done. All safe.
Ooh, got an achievement as well. Ah, oh, look at that. Maintaining the speed curve, we can ignore these bits where it was less. The speed curve was clearly wrong. You know, but the speed, obviously, the speed limit should have been higher there, you know? Okay, excellent. Well, that's a gold. Right, folks, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, and it's going to be Draw You tomorrow, and then JD with a pub quiz on Thursday. All right, folks, take care, stay safe, and uh, I'll catch you on the next stream. Cheers, everyone. Bye bye.